Good morning, Greater Late Show. From the WCATV studio, I'm Ramaya Henderson alongside Tyler Nelson. Coming up in today's show, the Rising Educators Club is meeting this week. Student Council representative applications are available, and the art show begins today. All this and more on your WCATV news. The Senior and Junior High Art Show will be on display in the CSC today through Thursday the 27th. There will be an evening reception tomorrow from 5 to 7 p.m. for family and friends. Please join us for the celebration of student work. The Rising Educators Club, sponsored by St. Vincent College, will be having their next meeting on Thursday, April 27th during the first half of Lunch and Learn in Mr. Trenton's room, H203. Any students in grades 9 through 12 who are interested in the teaching profession is welcome to attend. A link to the Student Council School Board Representative application has been sent to all sophomore and junior student email addresses. Two school board reps will be selected to represent the Greater Lake Trobe Senior High School student body to the Board of Education for the 2023-2024 school year. Reps will be required to attend two school board meetings each month and will be full members of the Student Council. The digital application must be submitted by April 27th at 2.55 p.m. Also, a link to the Senior High School Student Council representative application has been sent to all student email addresses. If you are interested in representing your class and serving as a Senior High Student Council representative for the 2023-2024 school year, please submit the digital application and print it partitioned by 2.55 p.m. on May 4th. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Gianna Lewis for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high 55 and a low of 30 with partly sunny skies. Tomorrow we will see a cloudy skies with a high of 57 and a low of 36. And lastly, on Thursday, we have a high of 63 and a low of 32 with sunny skies. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Attention juniors, on May 3rd and 4th, Timeless Photography will be in the Commons area during Lunch and Learn with information about senior pictures for the 2024 yearbook. Please stop by the table and pick up information that will contain everything you need to know about your senior yearbook photos. Attention seniors, anyone who had Dr. Bump for introduction to career pathways in seventh grade, it is time to pick up the career and personality collages that you made the first few days of class. She has enjoyed looking at them and rem remembering all of the seniors as they come back. Stop by her room, H104, to pick up your collage and say hi. She can't wait to see you. Are you interested in working for the Greater Lake Trobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you're interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return it by Wednesday, May 3rd. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for an application information on the Guidance Office scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions, and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 26. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the guidance office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. The Westmoreland County Coaches Association raises funds from their county championship events in order to provide scholarships to athletes from Westmoreland County. The WCCA expects to award seven to nine scholarships ranging in value from $500 up to $2,000. See Mr. Simpson for information and for an application. The deadline for submission is May 1st. We go to Richard Hillwig for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today there are five Wildcat sports teams in action. Away from Greater Latrobe, the tennis team has a WPIAL doubles match at North Allegheny High School, and the girls lacrosse team will travel to Oakland Catholic for their game at 7.30. At Memorial Stadium, the track team has a meet this afternoon at 4 against Greensburg-Salem. And finally tonight, here at the high school, the boys lacrosse team faces off against Seton LaSalle here at 7.30 at Rossi Field, and the baseball team plays the second game of a two-game series against Uniontown in a pivotal section series at 7. That's all for Wildcat Sports. Now here's Joe Coletti with National Sports. Hey Wildcats, in sports your Pirates are back in action tonight versus the Dodgers at 6.30 p.m. on AT&T Sportsnet. The Red Hot Pirates, who have won seven straight, currently sit at second in the entire league with a record of 16-7. and seven. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. RILA is a week-long immersive camp sponsored by our local Rotary Club, which provides opportunities for team building, leadership development, service, moral, and ethical identification, personal development, and problem solving. The La Roche track is set at the University in Pittsburgh. 
Utilizing the campus facilities, participants grow as a team, as well as critically challenge their strengths and skills through workshops, projects, service projects, and social activities. Rising high school juniors and seniors are encouraged to apply. The Outdoor Odyssey track is set in the beautiful mountains of Boswell. Surrounded by nature, participants hone their decision-making skills through practical applications while growing as a team. All high school age students are welcome to apply to Outdoor Odyssey. Applicants are open for the Summer 2023 program. Visit RILA7305.org to apply for either program. Please contact Mrs. Yetter if you have any questions. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Delaney Mulroy with What's Cooking. What's Cooking Late Show cooking up in the main line is cheesy meatball sub, french fries, and green beans. Sandwich options today are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patties. In the grab and go bar, there is salads and deli hoagie. Soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. And now, here's a look at someone who excels on stage with acting and singing. Here's reporter Abby Kunkelman with today's Student Spotlight. Izzy Kessler has been singing for five years. She has always enjoyed watching people sing and perform in shows, which has inspired her to start singing. Um, something that inspired me to start singing is when my mom would take me to all these like stage right shows when I was younger to go see them and I would always just like look at them up on stage and just wish that I could do that at some point in time and then I would see a bunch of high schoolers do it here and I just knew that's what I wanted to do. While Izzy's on stage, she gets into the zone and feeds off the energy of the performance. Well, something that encouraged me to start acting in front of a big, big audience was just realizing how much I liked getting not praise, but I like just feeling like the energy from all the hard work that I put into things. So I like, you know, knowing that I make people enjoy things and I like that about performing in front of people. With over 13 musical experiences, Izzy has performed a lot of songs, but one stands out over the others. My favorite song to sing is probably the one that I just sang in this musical, Pippin. It was called, I guess I'll Miss the Man. It was like a power ballad and it was just really uplift, not uplifting, I guess, but it was uplifting to like, being strong and just taking care of yourself, and I like that a lot. Someone who inspired Izzy was Ms. Duda. She gave Izzy valuable advice that will stick with her for future performances. She had told me to just forget about everything else when I get on stage and just leave it all on the stage. That's one of my favorite things that directors say when they say to just leave it all on the stage because, you know, like when you, when you get off, you can't go back on and put more stuff out there. So when you get on there, it's really your time to just leave everything that you worked for on there. With future plans of studying music education, Izzy will continue to do amazing things in the future and influence a new generation of performers. Seniors are asked to check their emails and complete the Student Council and High Post Senior Edition survey by Wednesday, April 26th. Now, here's Emily Sweeney with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Latrobe. Today in World News, Kenya's main opposition party resumed protests over the high living costs and alleged election fraud. The protests ended in early April due to an appeal from their president, who agreed to talk about reforming the election commission. The party decided that their protests would continue if no progress has been made this past Friday. Since no progress was made, they scheduled for their next protest for May 2nd. And in local news, the Greater Latrobe School District has been once again honored with the Best Communities for Music Education designation. This designation is in its 24th year and is awarded to districts that demonstrate outstanding achievement in their efforts to provide music education to all students. That's all for World and Local News. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!